Hi guys, wanted to show a little project I was working on, something that uh, a lot of the outdoors guys will be aware of, and especially those that are into astronomy. Um, first of all, I want to tell you this, you know, I put lanyards on things, like this is my knife that uh, Mike uh, made me, and uh, I put the standard cover weave, and then I pulled the center out so it would be soft and flexible. And then I have my Christian rod toggle, and some uh, jute twine and all in there, but that is beside the point. I always add things like these, and I put them on almost everything. You've probably seen them on a lot of things, these little uh, push pin, push button lights. And you can get them on Amazon. You can get about 20 of them for $3 and something, and they're very cheap. And they come like this here. And they are pretty bright. So, especially when they're they're new, the batteries last quite a while, but um, and I ordered some probably two years ago, and I just ordered some more the other day because I'm wanting to play around with some ideas that I have. Uh, but uh, anyway, you get those pretty cheap. But those of you that are into astronomy know, and those of you that are, get out in the woods and it's dark know that your eyes will acclimate to that light. And then so if you're reading the map in the dark, and then when you turn that off, everything will be dark again to you, and your eyes have to adjust back. But of course, if you use a red light, that won't happen. So what I did is I bought these, and they come with resistors, but they're the super bright red LEDs, and they're just a few dollars. I think I got 30 of them for three dollars and something. And you just cut them off and bend one in. I'll show you what it looks like inside in just a minute, but basically you just um, you make that right there. You don't need the resistors that come in it. So basically all you have to do, if you get the same ones I have, but they shouldn't be too hard to figure out no matter which ones you get. And I don't want to lose my screws, so Okay, so I got the screws out. When you open it up, you'll see that some of them only have one battery. Uh, you can cram a second one in there and it will last a lot longer. Uh, which, by the way, if you need these uh, SC628, the CR2016 batteries that are very common to go in a lot of things, it's actually cheaper to buy 20 of these little things here for $3 and something, and then you have 40 of these batteries inside that are brand new. But anyway, you just take this out here and I'm going to be cutting through a lot of it but I need to show this here and I just use my Leatherman one thing you need to be aware of when you do it you just get about the length you want But then you need to figure out which side needs to be bent. So when it goes in there, it will see so one way it doesn't work, one way it does. So if you're going to put them in positive side up, the one that goes to the positive side needs to be bent up into a crooked angle. So you just bend it up a little. over and make something kind of like that so anyway put your batteries back in and if you are like me and bite your nails you can never pick up anything that lays flat <laughs> back in. That's the white one. I picked up the wrong one. So you just put uh, one side under, one side on top. Don't worry about the fact that it's lit right now. And 
then just bend it up just a little bit more where it doesn't quite touch. And you can play around with that until you get it like you want. So now when the button is pushed on the other side, it comes down and makes a circuit. So anyway, now I need to put the back back on it. Now as you do this, the light will come on and mess with you and stuff. Don't worry about it too much because there's a little trick at the end I can show you that will probably make that a lot easier on you. Oh, and there's on some of them there's this little switch that can cause it to stay on constantly. And I accidentally knocked it out of mine, so I'm going to put it back in. Okay, like I said, um, the light may come on as you're putting the screws back in. Don't worry about it too much. There's a trick because you're probably going to be squeezing it too as you do this. See? And if you do it too, if you tighten down too tight, it will cause it to come on and stay on. And you can just back it off just a little bit. And it will still be snug. I'll put these screws back in and if it comes and I'll show you what to do if your light stays on. Okay. Well, if your light stays on and mine didn't, but it does work when I squeeze it. Um, it's usually because it is the, the little crick that you had to put in there is a little tip to the side and then all you have to do is just grab the bulb and rotate it a little bit and it would uh, it would go off and only come on when you squeeze it. But anyway, that's how that would work. And now it shines a red light instead of white. Um, you can attach these to your bags and things like that and they have this little switch right here. So when you depress it and push it into the old position, which I don't have any fingernails, it'll stay on like that. So you can put it on your bag, on your um, back or whatever, and if you're in a group, this light will shine and everybody can see where everybody is. Um, keep people together a little bit. I just thought that was a pretty cool idea too. Anyway, um, I started thinking about it and I had some other ideas. Uh, I'm not going to do it to this. This is my shuttle pin from my went to the shuttle launch. But um, I can get a cheap Walmart pin and take this tip out here and these will protrude quite a bit out of the end and I can get these smaller watch batteries or depending on the casing I could put uh, AAA maybe I don't know but I could put smaller watch batteries in there and run the line up through the side of the pin and have it where it doesn't quite touch and then when I click the back of course the pin would be gone and it would make contact and the light would come on um, I might have to play with that and work out some ideas and I'm, I'm see what I can do. But I just thought that would be kind of a neat idea to have a little uh, light pen. But anyway, I have uh, several ideas and I'll probably be showing those as I go along. Anyway guys, I hope you found that useful. Remember the red lights are a whole lot better for uh, acclimation during the dark. And uh, it's pretty cheap to do. Just a few dollars and it doesn't take just a couple minutes to make the changes. I had some blue ones coming, um, blue LEDs coming in the mail just because I like the color better, and uh, I'll probably make a few like that. But anyway, um, if you like these, I do want to mention my wife made these for me. Well, she made this one here. She braided that for me, and I thought it looked pretty good. I showed it on the video the other day, and uh, this is for if I get the new job coming up. This will be my ID badge. So, anyway. Guys, that's pretty much it, and I guess I'll be back with another video real soon.